Hey guys, Bad Infos here and welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna teach you a few things. I'm gonna show you how to properly install an NVMe M.2 SSD onto your system, how to properly download, set up and install Linux onto your newly acquired SSD and of course do all the extra settings in the BIOS and in the Linux installation itself so you can speed up your newly acquired SSD. If you wanna see the same exact tutorial but for Windows 10, of course you can click on the card or in the description down below on the link which is gonna take you to that video. What I have in my hands is a 970 Pro from Samsung, this is a 1TB SSD, however this video is gonna work for any brand and any size of SSD you have. If you follow this guide correctly, you should be completely fine. What you're also gonna need, however, is a flash drive which is at least 4GB. So grab one of these, of course you can use a disk as well, but this is much faster and much easier, so get yourself a 4GB one and put Linux on it. How do you do that? Well, watch and find out. Turn on your PC, visit linux.org and click on download Linux. Here you'll see 25 versions listed. If you're coming from Windows, I suggest you install either Ubuntu or Mint because they're similar to Windows and you have an easier time using them. For this video I'll download Ubuntu, so click on it. Click on Ubuntu desktop and download the latest version. Place it wherever you want, I'll place it on my desktop. Next you need to plug in your flash drive and make it bootable. There are many different ways of doing that, however the easiest, fastest and cheapest one is to simply download PowerISO and use that. This is a free program which will get the job done. Visit PowerISO.com, click on download now, I'll click on 64-bit and wait. Once it's done, simply open it and install it. The installation is not difficult, just follow along and you are good. Open up PowerISO as an administrator, wait a few seconds and click on continue unregistered. Click on the tools tab and then on create bootable USB drive. After this window pops up, click on the small icon to find the Linux you just downloaded. If you see your flash drive listed here, just click on start and wait. It will take a while. Once you're done, you can close Power ESO and shut down your PC. Now before you start your installation I suggest you do something first. If you have any SATA SSDs or SATA HDDs in your system I suggest you unplug these first and then start the installation of Linux because once you do you could get confused and you could place Linux on your other drives. As you can see I have a 500 SATA SSD plugged in on the back side of the case and a 10TB HDD on the bottom here. Each drive has two different connections. We have a data transfer SATA connection coming from the motherboard and a power SATA connection coming from the power supply. All you wanna do is unplug the data connection and you are done. However, if you want, unplugging both does not hurt. I'll do the same for the hard drive. Both connections are off and I can proceed to the other step. And here comes the more tricky part. As you probably know, the SSD slot is usually below the video card. Some motherboards have it below it, making it more easily accessible, others have two slots and whatnot. Since mine is below the video card, I'll have to take it out first. How do you do that? Well, first unplug both these cables. Once you're done, take your screwdriver and unscrew these two holders. Each video card has a holder on the opposite side, so you need to unhatch that too. Take it out slowly and the SSD slot will be revealed. Here it is. And here's a closer look. What you wanna do now is to unscrew this tiny screw and take it out. After you do, take your SSD and place it exactly like this. After you hear a small click, you can push it down and screw it back in. And this was pretty much it. Just place your video card back, screw it back in, plug in your cables and boot up your PC. We need to enter the BIOS and boot from the flash drive. There are other ways of doing it, but this will be easier to follow, so this is what I'll show you. While the PC is powering on, you need to continuously tap the delete button until you enter the BIOS. Each brand looks different, but things are generally in the same locations. What we are looking for is the boot priority option. There are found under the BIOS tab, so click on it and under boot option 1 you need to select the flash drive. Here we go, we are done for now. Let's close it and start our Linux installation. 
Here just select Ubuntu and wait a few minutes until the system checks your SSD for problems. It shouldn't take long, especially if your SSD is smaller in size than mine is. So after it's done checking, you'll be presented with the Ubuntu installer. You can now start the Linux setup. Just select your language on the left and click on Install Ubuntu. Select your keyboard layout and continue. Most people would want a full, complete installation, so I always advise you to choose a normal installation. As for this option, since you just downloaded Ubuntu, it will be the latest version, so you need to untick this option. This will make the installation ever so slightly faster, because it won't check for new versions while installing. Lastly, this will be personal preference. If you want to use third-party software and listen to all types of music formats, watch all video formats, if you use a proprietary Wi-Fi card, then you need this option enabled. Since I come from Windows, I'll tick it on for convenience and click on continue. If you are like me and want to fully customize how your OS looks like and operates, you need to select something else. If not, then erase disk and install Ubuntu will make things much faster and more convenient for you. I'll just select something else and click on continue. This is the partition selector. What I like doing is making a partition for Linux and another one for my data, but this is personal preference. If you just want one partition, be my guest. Select free space and click on the small plus icon down here. My first partition will be the OS and I'll make it 100 gigabytes. So type here 103000 and use it as an FE system partition. This is important since you want your system to boot from it. Click OK and you'll see it listed here. Select the remaining free space, click on the plus icon, select this as your mount point and click OK. The second partition needs to be formatted so make sure this is ticked on. Click on the smaller partition and click on install now. There is no turning back. Confirm your choice by selecting continue. Select your region, I'm from Bulgaria, type your name, PC name, username, choose a password and select if you want to automatically log in or not. Click on continue and wait for installation to finish. It shouldn't take too long, for me it was like 4-5 or five minutes. Once it does finish, you'll be presented with this message, click restart now, take your flash drive off, press enter and congratulations Linux is installed. We still have some work to do in the BIOS so shut down your PC, plug in all your drives back and turn it back on. Tap delete again and enter the BIOS. Visit the boot priority section and make sure your NVMe SSD is under boot option 1. Assign the rest however you want. One more thing, since you want your SSD to be as fast as possible, you want to find the fast boot option and turn it on. This skips the button check when you start your PC and therefore it will turn on much much faster. And this concludes the setup, boot up your PC and start learning Linux. Good luck! And guys this was it for the tutorial, I hope it was easy to follow, if you have any questions whatsoever leave them down below in the comment section, thank you so much for watching and a very special thank you to my lovely channel members and Patreon supporters, LMP Racing, House the Chowder, Alex Chavez, Max Robinson, Smokey O, Cloud Speed, SMRJ, Paris Bruce Lane and all other supporters on the screen, thank you so much!